Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Process Engineering Guy. Hope you guys are doing well, and thanks for your support. So today the topic is PSV Inlet Line Sizing. It's very interesting topic, and today we will discuss its basic. What are the guidelines provided by the API FI20 Part Two uh, on the installation part of the PSV, and after that we will go into the HiSys simulation. To uh, see the actual example, how we can size the uh, uh, PSV inlet line in high sys simulation. Okay, all good. Let's start. So first of all, uh, what happens when there is a pressure drop in the PSV inlet line? So due to excess pressure loss in the PSV inlet pipeline. There is a chattering or rapid opening of the PSV. Opening and closing of the PSV happens. Okay, and due to rapid opening and closing of the PSV, PSV seat will damage, and we have to uh, replace that seat. So the maintenance call maintenance cost will be increased. So to avoid this rapid opening and closing or the chattering issue, we should size the PSV inlet line so that the inlet line loss should not exceed. The limit. So, what is the limit? So, what API says that API says that the total frictional drop between the vessel. Let's consider this is the vessel from vessel and the inlet of pressure relief valve from vessel nozzle to the inlet flange of the PSV. The frictional loss should not be exceed three percent of set pressure. Set pressure in gauge. Okay, this is what API 520 uh, Part Two says, right? And if suppose there is a low set pressure PSVs uh, which has set pressure less than 3.4 bar gauge, then you can exceed the inlet line pressure drop up to the 5% of set pressure. But it is, but uh, generally it, it is better to uh, follow the criteria of 3% of set pressure only. Okay. And this limitation of three percent set pressure is applicable for all types of PSV, conventional pilot and balance balance. So each for every type of PSV, this criteria is applicable. So first, we what we had discussed that the inlet line pressure drop from the uh, vessel to the PSV inlet should not exceed the three percent of its set pressure. Right, and these losses are nothing but the non-recoverable losses, which are the frictional losses. Okay. Now, in this diagram, you can see how or how the inlet line loss uh, affecting the or uh, how it is uh, chattering issue is due to the inlet line loss. So, in first diagram, you can see there is a vessel. Okay, and the PV is equal to PS. It means PV is nothing but the pressure uh, pressure of this vessel, and PS is nothing but the set pressure of that PSV. Now you can see this gauge here. The pressure is showing in the gauge and at the uh, PSV inlet during or this condition is just before the PSV opens. So at this point there is no flow due to that the pressure at in the vessel and at the PSV inlet is same. Okay. But if you see in the second diagram, as soon as the PSV open, you can see the flow start at the outlet of the PSV. The pressure at the inlet of the PSV it drops. Okay, so what is the pressure value at the PSV inlet when there is flow? So it is nothing but the. You can see the drop. You have to minus the drop in that line. Okay, the system pressure minus the inlet loss. Which is nothing but the pressure at the inlet of the wall. If this pressure, if if when the wall open, if this pressure falls below this flow down, you can see this second diagram here, falls or goes below this flow down value, then the wall will close. What is flow down? Flow down is nothing but the difference between set pressure and the closing uh, or receipt pressure. Okay, if our uh, This pressure at the inlet of the PSV goes below the receipt pressure of the wall. Then the wall will suddenly close. Okay, that as soon as the PSV close, but the contingency is still ongoing. Again, the pressure will suddenly increase. Again, PSV will open. Okay, PSV as soon as PSV open, there will be the pressure loss. 
then pressure will fall below the uh, fall uh, below these reset pressure again PSV will close so there will be the uh, n number of cycle going on so to avoid that what we need to do API says that this line loss should not exceed 3% so that after the losses our uh, PSV inlet pressure will not drop below the receipt pressure and we will avoid the chattering okay clear secondly uh, while performing the pressure drop calculation some basic uh, terms uh, we need to understand first of all the pressure drop limitations include only the frictional losses okay which includes contraction and expansion losses and the line losses and, to, and during calculating the inlet pressure drop do not uh, include the static head okay secondly the pressure drop should be calculated using the rated capacity of the pressure relief valve okay let's say okay so this is based on the rated capacity then some important points needs to be discussed like the nominal size of the inlet uh, piping should be at least equal to the inlet flange of that PSV okay let's say you have selected a PSV 3k4 which means that the inlet flange size is 3 inch and outlet is 4 inch so the inlet line should be at least 3 inch you cannot select the 2 inch line for that PSV still if you are not exceeding the 3% criteria for your 2 inch line but you cannot select the 2 inch line for which has a nozzle size of 3 inch so minimum you have to select 3 inch if you are selecting the PSV 3K4 then the inlet line isolation wall shall be full bore okay you cannot use the reduced bore wall in the inlet line for the isolation purpose and if you are using the gate walls for the isolation then those should be the stem should be mounted horizontally and this is not feasible then the stem could be oriented downward to a maximum 45 degree from horizontal to keep the gate from falling off and blocking the flow okay then <coughs> sorry bleed wall should be installed between the isolation wall and the pressure relief device to enable the system to be depressurized prior to performing maintenance so uh, between the isolation wall there should be a bleed wall to be installed um, uh, to save, safely depressure system and we can do the maintenance of that psp so this is what the one of the criteria for the inlet um, pipeline uh, sizing now we will go into the high simulation and see one example so i have opened one file in high simulation I'll create one new case. Okay. First of all, I'll add fluid package. Uh, I'm taking water as a fluid, so I'll select ASM steam. Then view. I'll add water as a component here. Okay. Now the component is added. Fluid package is also added. Then let's go into the simulation part. You can see here. Add one stream. Okay, now I'll define, let's say there is vapor phase is 1, temperature 150, composition 1 because there is pure water and I'll keep mass flow rate as 1 kg per hour just to converge the stream. Now the stream is converged. <coughs> Now I'll go to this. Let's just rename this as a steam. Okay. Now I'll go to the safety analysis part. Now I'll add one PSV here. Click. Then let's consider design temperature is 200 and design pressure, let's say 5 bar gauge. Uh, I'll create one scenario. Okay, let's a block out it. I will not discuss about the PSV sizing because that I have already discussed in another video. Today we will just discuss about the inlet line sizing. I'll put some like 8000 is kg per hour is a relieving flow rate 
then I have to select the stream so from here I can select the stream for the relieving temperature what I'll do I'll do the vapor fraction as 1 which consider it uh, the pure vapor relief once I click on the select you can see the n orifice is required for that PSV okay for this uh, much of relieving code. now I'll go to back to this tab then you can see the please select PSV sizing case okay so I have to select the PSV sizing so this is my PSV sizing case now I have to go to this line sizing tab okay so what I'll do I have to select the line size so first of all I'll just now you can see my orifice is my orifice is 4 and 6 okay 4 inches inlet and orifice and 6 is the outlet of this selected orifice for the selected PSV so let's consider first of all I'll select 4 inch line the outlet is let's consider 8 inch okay we will not discussing about the outlet line but we have to put the uh, values here material let's consider ms then let's say specified equivalent length uh, it's 25 meter at the outlet okay it's 30 meter let's say elevation for now we will just keep at zero now we will you can see here and here one more thing you have to uh, take care is the flow rate method so currently we are sizing the inlet line uh, based on the rated flow of the PSV if you your company guideline says you can select uh, or the size on the required as well so you have to select that particular criteria from here or if you want you can select manual and you can put manual flow rate as well okay so I am taking rated area right now I'll just run the line sizing from here as soon as I run the line sizing I got the error like maximum pressure drop exceeded now you can see as per the 3% criteria my set pressure is 5 bar gauge and as per the 3% criteria the maximum uh, pressure drop in the inlet pipeline should be 0.15 but what I am getting is 0 0.4903 okay so for that purpose I have to increase my line size I'll consider 4 inch and I'll again sorry I consider 6 inch and I'll again run the line sizing okay as soon as I select 6 inch you can see my pressure drop calculate pressure drop is 0 0.09 bar and allowable is 0.15 so it is within the limit and the inlet line size is okay for this much of flow rate okay so this is about the inlet line and if you want more information then you can contact me on this email id process engineering 0605 at gmail.com please like share and comment this video and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching the video hope you have enjoyed thank you